Happy Tuesday, friends. Today's Lent devotional reading comes from the book of Luke, chapter 8. One day Jesus said to his disciples, let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got in a boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down onto the lake so that the boat was being swamped and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and that all was calm. Then he asked, where is your faith? In fear and amazement, they asked one another, who is this? He commands even the winds and the water and they obey him. A couple of Fridays ago, we had some pretty significant storms come through the area. Uh, schools closed down, big gust of wind, some moderate damage was done across uh, Middle Tennessee. Uh, some of you know my friends Matt and Vonda Coble. Uh, they have a house in Laverne, and Vonda had called me that evening and told me a story uh, about an event that happened on that particular day during that storm. Matt was in his car, and he was pulling out of the driveway, and he was looking at this tree that towers over their house, and he was seeing it swaying in the wind, pretty pretty big uh, deal there, and uh, he was a little nervous, and he said, Lord, would you please protect our house uh, from this tree? You see, the tree was towering over and blowing so much that he was certain that if it fell, it was going to fall into the house. Well, Matt left, and when he came back, the tree was down, but it wasn't uh, on their house. It was beside their house. Uh, it, was a, it was an answer to prayer uh, because that tree should have hit their house. Uh, and as you can see in the picture there, it was beside their house. God is so faithful uh, to be with us when we ask him and invite him into our situations. You see, Matt could have fretted all day long. He could have been upset. He could have uh, not left the house and stared at the tree to see if the tree wouldn't have fallen or, or maybe maybe uh, tried to get some type of rope and try to tie the tree back. Uh, he probably didn't have anything he could have done in his, in, in his natural way to, to, to save the house from the tree falling uh, on it. Uh, but God could, and he did. God wants to be in the middle of every situation in our life. I wish I could tell you that as a follower of Jesus, you're never going to have to contend with storms. And if I told you that, that would be a lie. We have to deal with storms in our lives, but Jesus is the Lord of everything in our lives, including the storms, and we can count on Him. Uh, something that I, I, I picked up out of this passage that really uh, hit me when I read it this last time in preparation for this today was at the end when the disciples said, who is this? They, they were amazed at the capability of Jesus. Oh, so often we wait to invite Jesus into our circumstances we wait to have a relationship with him until the storm comes. But you know, on the days when everything is ordinary and there's no extraordinary event like a tree falling on or beside your house, those are the times when we need to draw near to God. Because when we draw near to God in those moments, we'll know where our foundation is when the storm clouds start to swell and the storms come into our life. So I ask you this question, just as Jesus asked the question to the disciples, where's your faith? In all circumstances, he, he says to us, do not be anxious for anything because we can place everything under the Lordship of Jesus. He is the Lord of our storm. Father, today, for anybody going through the storm, I pray, Lord, that you would place a hedge of protection. But more than that, that as we walk through the storms of life, you would increase our faith. And our first go-to would not be what's in our minds, uh, what is at our fingertips to do, but the very first place we would go is the peace that we find in you because you are our rock and we can trust in that. In Jesus' name, amen.